Lots of sunshine around the county today. Meteorologist Angelica Campos joining us to tell us what's in store. Yesterday we talked about the humidity yeah. and the airflow just changing everything. So that helped the clouds today. And as a result, it was nice and sunny. But if we look at what is normal for the month of May, usually it's a cool sea breeze. That's the norm. Usually that creates the May gray that we have said pretty much over and over again now for a week since the end of April and the hottest temperature 98 degrees. So sometimes it can get very warm in the month of May. We're not heading in that direction, at least not for San Diego, but for the rest of the county, it is going to stay mild with temperatures above average. Looking outside right now, you can already see some clouds are returning and the marine layer will be back tonight into tomorrow and basically every single night into every morning. But today we had better mixing. So what happens is that some of that cooler air near the coast has to mix with the warm air that's setting up across the county and that allows for those clouds to clear. If there's no mixing, then the clouds stay locked in place with warm air all around it. But you can see how the entire county is ranging two to three degrees warmer than yesterday. Still in the mid 60s for Oceanside, Del Mar 64, 77 degrees in Ramona, almost 80 in Warner Springs, and it is hot, still sizzling in the deserts with 102 degrees. The dew points are higher when we go above 50 degrees. That's getting uncomfortable comfortable. You start getting closer to 60 and now it is officially uncomfortable. So we're basically there. Ramona, Poway, Escondido, there is like Hamul, so very humid. And there's a few places like Mount Laguna. The air is still very dry there. So there's still some room for moisture to continue building for those thunderstorms to eventually be productive here in our county. It is going to stay cloudy at night and into early morning for the coast and valleys with the marine layer in place with monsoonal showers and possible thunderstorms. So looking across the county, the clouds are already trying to make their way back, but the moisture source still locked in place across the four corners. It'll continue to drift closer to us and that will increase the chances tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. Daytime highs for the coast will average just under 70 degrees. Inland communities will stay in the mid to upper 70s, 80s expected through the weekend and next week looking very similar. Once again, the numbers will start to cool back down. That's when we'll see some changes, but not until next Tuesday. So until then, it is going to be about the same weather pattern with above normal temperatures away from the coast and feeling this muggy air all around the county. Kimberly. Thank you, Angela.